everyone, and welcome to another episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. Today, I'll be reviewing the Keller Beer Geek Cocoa Shake. So this is a part of their Beer Geek Breakfast series, and for this one, they're of course using coffee, as they do for all of these. This is an oatmeal imperial stout, and they are using a truck load of chocolate in this one, Per McKellar. So, really excited to dig into this one with you guys. At time of recording, this has over a year and a half of age on it. So, that's pretty cool. This was actually one that I got in a trade with DJ over at DJ's BrewTube. So, buddy, huge ass shout out to you guys. If you have not checked out DJ's channel, please go do so. He makes some awesome videos. So, this was a beer that I meant to age for a little while. Just ended up not finding it for a long time and kind of forgot about it. Finally found it. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and check out the aroma. Holy shit. Oh my god. There is so much chocolate in here. I mean, it is like this raw kind of just big, big, sweet milk chocolate. Damn, that is intense. It kind of smells like Hershey's syrup kind of thing. It smells just, it is so chocolatey smelling. Man, it just smells like pure fucking chocolate. Not getting too much in the way of coffee. Of course, again, for over a year and a half, obviously you're not really going to be getting coffee at this point. I am getting a little bit of like some roasted malts, almost a hint of like a little bit of like caramel kind of toffee sweetness. Maybe even a hint of vanilla in there, too, which is huge, huge. I mean, I cannot express the level of chocolate smell in this. I mean, it's like just that Hershey's syrup kind of thing, but then you also have that raw, like, cocoa powder. It just, yeah, that that is absolutely insane. Maybe the most chocolate beer I have ever smelled. Guys, let's go ahead and check out the taste. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. So up front, just like in the aroma, it is pure chocolate, guys. We're kind of talking about this really kind of sweet, intense milk chocolate. Really, really super creamy. After that, you're getting some a little bit more of like a bittersweet kind of dark chocolate, on, especially on that finance. It definitely has a lot more of kind of that bitterness that you expect from like you know 75 80 percent cocoa basically like it is really really strong on the back end and that kind of couples with this really nice roasted almost slightly charred smoky kind of malt bill in there too that is crazy yeah up front definitely has that sugary milk chocolate Really, really creamy, too. And then, slowly but surely, it kind of starts to fade again towards that really intense, like, bitter, bitter, sweet, dark chocolate, which is nice. About mid palate, I'm getting a decent bit of this vanilla taste, a little bit of, like, caramel, toffee kind of sweetness. Definitely getting, again, a lot of that kind of roasted, roasted, charred kind of really intensely, like, just, yeah, really, really intense kind of malt bill on the backbone, which is nice because up front, it starts out real super sweet kind of sugary and if that was the only taste in here this thing would get super super cloying really really quick but because it does kind of have more of that bittersweet dark chocolate on the finish and the roasty notes it really helps to balance this one out Yeah, not really getting any coffee again that's kind of what I expected to I mean with this much age on it the coffee is going to fade of course but this one is super, super, like, thick and chewy. It's definitely viscous. Like, it is one of those really, really big imperial stouts. And it's got a creamy mouthfeel. Really, really, like, low, low carbonation. Almost zero carbonation. It's, it's almost slightly kind of syrupy a little bit. And this thing is crazy. I'm talking crazy, crazy drinkable. For 12.1%, you don't feel the alcohol, you don't taste the alcohol, like there is zero, zero, zero hints that this is over 12%. 
If I had to guess, I mean, it does kind of feel like a big beer just because of how kind of thick and chewy it is. At the same time, because of how smooth it is, I would think maybe like 8% Imperial Stout. I would have no idea. So this one definitely file under Dangerously Drinkable. It's a dessert beer. It's a sipping beer. Really decadent, really smooth. It kind of has this big, like, fudgy, brownie chocolate, Hershey's chocolate, just all these different layers of chocolate. It is a really, really tasty beer, though. Awesome, awesome stuff. I will say, though, I am glad they picked the small bottle format because if this was, like, a 22-ounce 750, way too much. So, in terms of rating, guys, I'm going with a 9.2 out of 10. I think this is a great beer. Again, a shout-out to you, DJ. Thank you so much. If you guys have tried this beer or any of the other ones in the Beer Geek Breakfast series, let me know down in the comments below. Alrighty, guys, that does it for this beer review. Please remember to like and subscribe to this video and my channel. And if you enjoy this, please let me know. Alright, guys, see you in another video, and I hope whatever you're doing involves good craft beer. Cheers.